Hey guys, how are you doing? We're gonna check out Squidlet. It's kind of a, a retro video game that uh, is, it's supposed to look like it's being played on a Game Boy. You play as this little squid who's going like on an adventure. His name is Plip. The village is telling him to uh, to help him on his adventure. He has to go to the castle and uh, basically be the chosen one to uh, go to the castle and save the day. So that's the castle that we're going to. You can see it, it's supposed to simulate a Game Boy game. Um, and it's not too bad. The one thing, the one chief complaint I have about is when you jump, you see how like the screen kind of moves? kind of gets me motion sick. It kind of makes it tough to kind of see what you're jumping and landing on because like the whole screen's kind of like like moving as opposed to just the sprite moving. If that makes any sense. Like I think only the sprites should jump. Not not the background and the, and the platforms and everything like that. But check this out. You can hide the backgrounds, but there's also contrast that you can choose with the right stick. So you can choose to have kind of dark contrast. Um, there's music that you could control as well. So it's not too bad. He does have a little squid attack when he jumps up and down. Um, you see right here, these are some of my villager friends. So yeah, it's a, I mean, it's cute and all, but you don't really need to talk to everybody. So let's go ahead and uh, try to uh, find some secrets. You can see in here, there's like a little secret cave. Mushrooms are super mummers. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll go to the first stage or so. Did I eat my muffins from the baker? Heard they work like your HP. I don't know what that means though, because I'm just squidlet. So where's the baker? This is a little band. The baker. Squishy. Oh, all right. The baker. All right, so we're eating. Find lots of muffins everywhere. Good luck doing the quest. So I ate my muffins. So it gives me like HP. You can see the top of the screen. There's three, three muffins that are your HP. Now we're gonna head out. Boom. So here we go. Uh, be scubbit, the mightiest of squidlets. The road ahead you'll be long. Doubles it out. If you ever met one, all you gotta do is jump over and eek on them. All right, so we're going to ink on the bad guys. So there we go. Got one. The muffin right there. I don't, I don't need it though, because I'm still full. There's another muffin. Third muffin. Fourth muffin. Fifth muffin. Sixth muffin. Nah. <laughs> I don't know why I'm counting. But yeah, you can see the main drawback that I have against this game is that the whole entire screen moves when you jump. I think if it didn't do that, it would have been alright. Now, I don't know why they chose to give it the Game Boy look. Maybe just to kind of be a little niche, maybe attract, you know, retro gamers' attentions. Honestly, that is what attracted me the most to wanting to play this game. But you gotta see, you know, there's certain limitations to doing this style. Obviously, sometimes it's hard to detect what's going on in regards to uh, what's on screen. But overall, it's not its not too bad. I think it's kind of cute. You know, it's a squid. Pretty, uh, pretty weird choice of a creature to go ahead and pick. And uh, um, am I already lost? Am I lost already? I don't think I'm lost. Let's see. Where are we supposed to go? Just like old school games, it is quite easy to get a little turned around and, and not figure out where you're supposed to go. But I think I think we'll, we'll be all right. Um, let's see. Come across, jump in, jump in. Oh, wait, never mind. That's the exit right there. So you got to get a good little running start. There you go. So your ink blot can work as a like a kind of like a, a second jump if you can see or at least to keep you up in the air just a tad bit longer all right here we go oops nope don't want to get hurt too much oh 
This bee is coming with a menace, with a purpose. Look at that. He was, he was gunning for me, guys. Let's go ahead and get inside the cave. Alright, so I do like Neo. I call him Neo Retro. That's my term. I think I've heard a couple other people say it. I don't know if it's official term when describing games. But obviously this game was inspired by previous games, like on the Game Boy, like Kirby, or even a Mario, even a Sonic the Hedgehog. So you gotta you gotta respect the, the homage that a lot of these indie developers make towards their games nowadays. Uh, if it wasn't for those classic games, we wouldn't have games like Squidlet that are full of like adventure and fun and, and references of old of old stuff. So here we go, we're going to the castle, it's a long way. Tell you what, my farm has been overrun by shark pillars and Moon sails, they hate squid meat, so if you can drive them off, I'll give you an old hovercraft I used to use stuff around town. So look, we're getting little quests and everything. The animation of the actual squid himself is cute. I would have liked an option to have the game maybe uh, possibly be put into color. They would have had different filters that you can unlock and eventually just be able to play the game like with the, with the NES color palette or something. It would be cool. But I guess the Game Boy look is also attractive. There's a few other games on the Nintendo Switch that adopt the same style and stuff. So I guess it's it's just to pay tribute to older uh, video games. So here we go. Okay, we're just going around getting rid of the sharks and the squids. Look at these shark worms. What were they called? Don't remember what they called it. I missed some. What? Where did I miss the guys? I thought I saw... Oh, here we go. There's one right here. I don't think I missed any more. I think we're good. So let's go, and I think we beat it. I think we uh, meet or met the expectations of the dude who was like, defeat all the enemies. So here we go. Thank you so very much. Hovercraft is yours. Don't worry about the shark and pillar cocoons. Dogs breathe fire and spin acid salt cram before they emerge. Have fun. So now I got a little hovercraft. Oh my gosh, look at this. Boss fight? Holy smokes. Am I hurting him? I, I can't tell if I'm hurting him. But this is cool. This is a nice little change of pace, right? From what from what we were just getting with the, the platforming. It almost reminds me of Super Mario Land. Like when he, when he flies in the ships and stuff. So there we go. We're off to the castle to continue Squidlet's journey. Oh, never mind. We fell down at the bottom. So now we have to try to clear and see what's going on. So no squidlets allowed in Squid Squat, God Emperor's Castle. Uh, but I'm a squidlet. Stop making sense. Oh, nope. Can't get in. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, we did. So here we go. We're going to continue forward. Oh, shoot. There's ghosts. Everything like that. Definitely, definitely digging the way that this game looks. So let's continue forward. And... Oh, there we go. The only drawback again that I have with this game is that it does get me motion sick with the screen popping up like that. I wish I wish the game really did not do that because it, it throws me off immensely. Um, if the screen would have stayed put and the squid would have jumped, I would have definitely enjoyed that a lot more. But overall, the game seems fun. It seems enjoyable. The character itself is cute. The gameplay is rather easy to pick up and play. I mean, you only use the A button or, or the B button. There's only two buttons that you can use to control your character. So there's not much to uh, to really worry about as far as uh, making sure the game is... Uh, um, it's not hard to play, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So we're going to swipe all these keys... Swipe all these prisoners. It will take me alive. Oh look, I got some some health. Now we're gonna come open the key. There we go. Not bad. Oh, look at that. Definitely creative when it comes to how this. I'm gonna turn the contrast down just a little bit so I can see a little bit better. And we are making like bacon, guys. We are freaking cruising through the game. Honestly. I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to leave it right there, guys. But 
pretty impressive. This was Squidlet. I think if you're a retro gamer, if you grew up playing Game Boy games, you'll definitely like it. It's an old school style retro platformer. So comment down below. What are your thoughts? Have you played this before? Do you enjoy it? Do you think this game looks like garbage? Comment down below. Throw me some engagement. Like, dislike. If you haven't subbed, consider doing it. I'll see you next time. Peace out.